Question number one, define instantaneous acceleration. So instantaneous acceleration is uh, acceleration at the particular instant of time. Or you can use the equation instantaneous acceleration dv divided by time t. So the acceleration here is at the certain time t. Next, uh, question, num question number two. The speed of the car when the passing point P is 30 meter per second and change uniform over a distance to uh, 323 meter to 6, uh, 60 uh, meter per second. Calculate the speed of the car after 3 sec after 3 second after passing P. So meaning the at the point P, uh, the this the velocity at the point P is 30 meter per second, and after that the velocity change uh, uniformly over distance 323 to 60. So we need a change of velocity uniform is 60 to 60 meter per uh, second. So what is the speed of the car after 3 seconds passing point P? So now you can uh, actually you have a uh, equation v is equal to u plus a t right because the question asks you to calculate the time take time t after three seconds passing point p so what is the t here so to calculate the value of the t you must know the final velocity initial velocity and what is the acceleration right so now uh, if you look at the question here, you have a final velocity. The final velocity from 30 to 60, so this is a V and this is a U, right? This is U, initial velocity. So now you, uh, what is the value, the acceleration? If you look at the question, no value for a or acceleration but to find the acceleration a you can find the acceleration by using v square u square plus 2 a s because the question gives you the final velocity initial velocity and the distance right distance uh, if you look at the question from 30 from 30 to 60 meter per second velocity, the distance is 3 to 3 meter. So now from equation here, you can use because the final is 60, initial is uh, initial velocity is 30, and the uh, distance here is 323. So now you can find the value of the acceleration so you can use the S, uh, calculator acceleration is equal to 4.18 meter per second square now you can use the value of the acceleration to the equation here because the final velocity is 60 and u here is 30 and the acceleration is 4.18 you can find the value of the t is equal to uh, sorry the question asks you to calculate uh, oh sorry the question uh, asks you to calculate the acceleration no no no, no here okay so sorry Okay, again, all right, sorry. The V is equal to U plus AT. 
So meaning the question asks you to find the speed after the no the speed after the three seconds. So the t given is three seconds, and acceleration is four point one eight. And now the initial velocity is thirty, right? Given by the question thirty. So many you can find the value of the v, or you can use the calculator. V after three seconds facing the point P is equal to forty-two point five meter per second. So this is the final answer, right? Uh, okay. Okay, class. We go to the next question. Uh, a ping pong ball is thrown vertical upward. And return to the starting point after four second. Oh, okay. So you have the. Uh, they say this is the the surface. They say the surface table surface, and this is a ping pong ball, and the ping pong is through vertical, through vertical upward, and return to the st uh, starting point after. Second, so the first question is initial initial speed of the ball. So for initial uh, initial speed of the ball, you can use the equation uh, s displacement is equal to u t uh, minus half g t square, right? So now um, if you look at the situation here. So this is the the first the first uh, part object vertical uh, throw vertical upward meaning this is let's say the first s one and the second part we have uh, from top to the uh, ground surface here let's say this is s two so now the uh, displacement here s here because the initial well, initial displacement s one and s two at the same point so meaning uh, S1 and S2 is uh, plus minus meaning the same value here so displacement is equal to zero okay and the uh, initial speed yeah the question asks you to find u and time taken from uh, first part and second part uh, this is uh, u for second right t for second and minus half and the g is constant 9.81 and the time taken t from uh, initial and the final position is 4 seconds so now you can find the value of the u you can use the calculator here is u 19.6 uh, meter per second right so we go to the next question number two the maximum height of the ball Okay, meaning the this is the initial well initial position, and the uh, the ball is through vertical. So what is the when I mean, this is the final? Eh? So what is the maximum height? This is the maximum the position here, okay, or maximum edge. Eh? All right. So what is the maximum edge here? So to find the maximum uh, edge, you can use the so I write here. Right, you can use the equation uh, s the displacement s. Right, this is number two. Right, number two here. Okay, um, s u t uh, minus half g t square because the the value. So okay, this is maximum. This is s, or, or this is a uh, the maximum. Uh, position the maximum high eh, s and the initial velocity is come from the answer number one right 19.6 and uh, time taken okay because if you look at the situation here a uh, ping pong ball throw vertical upward and returns starting point in four seconds meaning the two seconds for the first part and the two seconds for the 
second part the same time because total is four second right so meaning here um, t here is four is sorry is t here for the first part is two right and minus sorry right here this is minus right, right so minus minus okay uh, half and here is 9.81 okay time t sorry because we have no, no enough space here so right here the t here and the t is uh, two second right two second square okay or oh, i draw here is okay so again eh, because this is s sorry s is equal to ut minus half gt square so u here is 19.6 time t first part is two second two second and this is half uh, g is constant 9.81 and t square is two second first part two seconds two second square so now you can find the value of the maximum height is equal to 19.6 meter right so i think that's all for question number one thank you